Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we want to work with nature, to be co-creators with nature, but we don't have the foggiest idea what it really means. What we know is when the temperatures are very high or very low, or there's a lack of water, no rainfall, then things go dormant. Plants enter their dormancy. We have learned that well, we understand it, and now we have to make amends. When it rains, when the temperatures are not too high or too low, what will happen then? Here we have a young Anthena holm oak and uh, we have pruned it and we have also removed all this hara brush that grew all around it. So lots of new growth but much less than I thought it will actually produce. Whether it is now investing in root system because of the rain we have had, or whether it is now preparing for a bumper harvest of acorns, I don't know. It might be even the, the here where there are almost no acorns. Time will tell. On this farm in Andalusia, these acorns, the young ones, are usually in the area where there are boulders. Look at this one. We are not sure why. I mean, one reason is that if previous farmers didn't plow here and maybe there are other reasons. These young anthenas also cleared from the Hara brush. It had a lot of flowers and uh, some new leaves. Let's see what will happen with this one. It's also interesting that many of these new acorns, the young plants, grew from the roots of dying or dead mother plants. The trunks of an old tree but then the new growth. So it appears that the last part of a tree to die are the roots and uh, they can produce some offspring. A lot of catkins for sexual reproduction on these trees. I hope they do well. We saw a lot of acorns germinating on the soil, but we have not seen that they translate into young saplings. I also don't know why, but uh, we'll have to be a little bit patient and then we will be able to see should any saplings survive. This is the mother tree, very old, completely hollow on the inside. And then it produced on a root several trees in a row. 
and this is the way of this tree to reproduce itself. This is the northwestern border, the lowest part of the land, where we sowed a lot of oats and alfalfa. Some signs of the oats sprouting, but uh, almost nothing of the alfalfa. Maybe we need a little bit higher temperatures. It's very humid, the soil almost wet, so I think that's very good. Let's be patient. Here we have the remains of a tree, a holm oak, that came down. A little bit sad, but such is life. The uh, next big project on this farm is to install drip irrigation on all the berms where we have planted lots and lots of fruit trees, shade trees, nitrogen fixers and then also lots of ground covers. Last year, this time, I was already watering six hours a day by hand and that carried on until October and it is an exercise I have no wish to repeat. So, waiting on the equipment to arrive and then to install the drip irrigation system. It will be a challenge because I don't know if gravity is enough and then the pumps and the high calcium content in the water that will clog all the drippers. We will do it. Some seepage of water from this swale and we made a valuable discovery that dry clay soil absorbs lots of water but very very wet clay soil allows passage of water and this is what we have now had the first time in many years where there is enough water that the clay can actually open up and allow it to flow down to the lower layers. Dogs enjoying this water because they have a lot of fur and uh, the moment it's hot, like today, they want to get into the water. Some more of the acorns we have, sorry, the holm oaks that we have pruned. I cannot say they are growing wildly. To me it looks like all the others, just some normal growth. Let's see. Grow young ones, grow. Till next time, goodbye.